A cystectomy is one possible therapy of a cyst. Cystectomy means the removal of a cyst, in effect the scraping out of the cyst cavity. A cyst is a tissue cavity that is enclosed by a membrane, or epithelium, and may consist of several chambers, usually containing a liquid or mushy content. In general, the cystectomy is the therapy of choice for cysts in the area of the head or neck, with the exception of very large cysts, or if, for example, important anatomical structures are located in close proximity to the cyst, which could then be damaged during the removal of a cyst, a so-called cystostomy is first performed. More on that in the video entitled, Cystostomy. You will now see a cystectomy, or removal of a radicular cyst. The cause of the cyst was a badly performed root canal treatment on the anterior number one tooth. More on that in the video on cyst formation and radicular cysts. The root canal treatment was renewed prior to the operation in order to prevent any further cyst formation after the cystectomy. The mucous membrane has been opened up and the thin bone lamella located above the cyst is removed. Now the cyst is scraped with a sharp spoon after the scraping of the cyst cavity, the wound is primarily closed. Normally, the resulting bone defect fills with blood. Within the course of the healing of the wound, vessels grow back into the developing blood clot, followed by the subsequent development of the new bone. In general, the removal of larger cysts carries a certain risk of wound healing disorders because the removal of the cyst creates a large bone defect that normally fills with blood immediately following the surgery. As the blood dries, the clot shrinks. The biology of the process is such that a large blood clot contracts more than a small one. It may contract to such a degree that it no longer touches the walls of the wound. In such a case, it is not possible for blood vessels to grow from the walls into the blood clot. This prevents the clot from being supplied with oxygen, nutrients, and finally with bone cells, which are an important prerequisite for the regeneration of the bone. Consequently, in this case, the blood clot disintegrates, pus develops, and a wound infection results. In order to avoid these complications in large cysts, one could attempt to stabilize the blood clot and thereby reduce its contraction. For example, one could fill the bone defect with a granulate made of bone substitute materials, as can be seen here. This prevents a contraction of the blood clot, allowing vessels to grow in from the walls. This is the basis for subsequent bone regeneration. An alternative to the planned surgery would be the initial performance of a cystostomy, followed by a cystectomy. If left untreated, cysts in the area of the mouth, jaw, and face usually grow in size over the years, sooner or later leading to corresponding local complications. The risks of a cystectomy are negligible when performed by an experienced surgeon. Nevertheless, complications can occur in individual cases, possibly requiring additional measures. Every additional measure may in turn lead to further complications, which, in the course of the surgery, could become life-threatening. At this point in our discussion, we will only deal with the specific complications encountered in the cystectomy. These are, for example, injury to the surrounding structures such as nerves, cheeks, blood vessels, dental roots, and teeth with the respective consequences. There's the possibility of an accidental cystectomy of malignant tumors that should be removed while employing a safety margin. Wound infections a fracture of the jaw, or leaving parts of a cyst behind, which may result in a recurrence of the cyst. Luckily, such complications have become very rare due to the positive developments in medicine in the last decades.